almost regarded as Liverpool's private property. No team. Delivery that needed defending. Doing that defending was Vandenberg. It's Morton now. Simicas. And Rigi realised that he would be offside or flagged offside if he chased it. Just breezed away. Brad Potts losing his footing, but in the end, slightly different wavelength there with Curtis Jones. Yeah, Liverpool have got into some dangerous areas, just that lack of quality with the... the Simicas. Oh, Cunningham is able to react and get it away. Nico Williams there was Potts in there. Oh, and Ledson. Oh, that's ambitious. Not well, optimistic, but again, when you got a dropping ball like that, you're not under a lot of pressure. Maybe that will change here, but uh, Blair straight back up on his feet. I think it's important for Liverpool to try and get the fullbacks into the game to, to play with a bit more width because with three centre halves and Midfield. Now here's Origi, just teasing it in towards Blair, who just can't quite get there. An example there of... Yeah. Oh, Rafferty, very much a scouser, he wasn't. Will break for Morton. To Minamino. Well, they close ranks there, Preston, very swiftly. Has he timed that right? It's an opportunity here. And the hands of Adrian warmed by the surging Brad Potts. Well, this involves in this match. Vandenberg over the top. Suddenly the chances are coming. Here's Barkhausen. He was caught and it will be a Preston free kick. Barkhausen chasing, so is Gomez. Despite the... Uh, Ranker amongst the Preston fans there. The decision goes Liverpool's way. Well. Shirts, but it's a Liverpool head on the end of it. Late, late challenge on Nico. Squeeze up the pitch a little bit more. The first maybe 25 minutes they were playing very deep. That was possibly the plan. Now they're just starting to step onto Liverpool. That's a great layoff. Can Rafferty get there? And the corner is given. Pandemic. They were in the top six for most of that season before lockdown came. It's McCann, who, who pots rather, who did well. But uh, flank this time. Simicas. I need a second bite here. Simicas. Earlier delivery this time. Hughes on the end of it. And Berg happy to let it run. there by Hughes back to run was the moment of penetration about to come not quite forward from Morton just couldn't take it to win the game Maguire nipping in full possession for Liverpool but no cutting edges yet half time at Deepdale it's gone is the personnel for Preston and uh, Sure, Jamie will remember uh, Nat Phillips' father playing against him. Of course, I did. 1995, Liverpool winning the League Cup, Everton winning the FA Cup. He's the personnel. They won't change the the game plan either. Well, Minamino's found some space, and then he can get it under his spell. 
and there a real window of opportunity for Liverpool. That he takes up just as he did there. I'm surprised actually his, his touch wasn't good enough. It was a lovely flick there from Parkhausen looking for Maguire. Phillips with his first real involvement. Phillips rushed in, broke a little kindly for him there, in all honesty. There's a Parkhausen there, the angle is against him. See what he's trying to do? Pass it across the goal, just gets the angle wrong. Yeah, Liverpool on the move. Nico Williams. Ortiz and oh, it's in there! Just when Liverpool were under threat, they strike. Yeah, I was talking about the qualities that Minamino has. He's not physically you know, threatening, but he has that ability, that intelligence, the movement. It's a tight call when the forward ball is played, but you know, Nico Williams stepping forward into midfield. is causing problems. He gets an excellent ball in, but that movement, just across Liam Lindsay there for Minamino to get to the ball first is why he scores. He's muscling Liam Lindsay, he's never going to win that battle but he's just sharper to the ball there's a lot of pace on the ball but he's coming the short distance, it's right at him and he adjusts his feet so well to, to turn it home, it's a brilliant finish he's a happy traveller potentially uncomfortable moment but he's able to find Jones well and now Simicass well that could be interesting off the crossbar, and Origi is there, and an extraordinary finish from him to finish it off for Liverpool. A tremendous bit of improvisation. And the quarterfinals beckon. Well, Divock Origi just loves this competition, and well, this is clearly a cross from Simicas. But once it hits the bar, it's how alive Liverpool are to the dropping ball. Well, they get to it first. There's Nico Williams battling away, but you're right, improvisation, that is extraordinary. Just to flick that over your head into the back of the net. Got no right to really do that. He hasn't had a lot to feed off tonight, Divock Origi, but when an opportunity, a really difficult opportunity came along, he contorts himself and, and turns it home and settles the game for Liverpool. Brilliant finish. Yeah, normally he'd be trying to maybe take this ball down and swivel and shoot. Not Divock Origi. Just dinks it over Declan Rudd.